When people think about navigation, they don't think about Nokia. So Nokia called for an idea that would not only drive interest into Nokia's navigation products, but more importantly, inspire people to start using the services both on their phones and on the web. But most people see mobile navigation as something that gets you from A to B, and it's not very fun or engaging. So what if you could turn things around and make navigation into something social, a channel where you can share your favorite places, your good things. To do this, we found a solution based on the simplest idea around. Right in the middle of one of London's busiest areas, next to the iconic Tower Bridge, we started building one of the world's largest interactive installations. Their tagline being um, connecting people, I just thought it was like, just like one of those campaigns that everything checks out. We are uh, putting a crane up, which will have a large arrow suspended from the bottom of it. You got it. Plug it in, power it up, and uh, you're right. They actually brought the digital out to the physical world, and I think it's beautiful. The 60-ton interactive structure reaching over 50 meters tall with an arrow the size of two London double-deckers completely motorized and turned 360 degrees, pointing out people's favorite locations all around the world. People on the street could use their phones and text the location directly to the signpost, and within moments the giant would turn and display the direction and distance to their good thing. When we get lost, more often than not, we look up, right? And God, where am I? Yeah, God, where am I? <laughs> and, and, and you see a sign pointing you in the right direction. I thought, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Through four webcams placed around the site, the installation was streamed live onto Nokia.com, where the live stream was synced with the Good Things map, so people could explore all the locations on the signpost inside Nokia's online navigation service. They could also add their own location to the signpost by dropping a pin on the Good Things map. And of course, you could follow the signpost through its own Good Things feed on Twitter. During the two weeks when the signpost was live, thousands of locations were displayed, added by the public, either through the web or through text messages. The world's biggest signpost is, I think that's an excellent example of the new kind of storytelling. It's really uh, a great campaign from a great agency.